Hi, I'm Linda from Bar Body's Body Blitz. Welcome to Quiet Quarantine Bar. For today's workout, all you will need is a light set of hand weights. I'm using one kilo or just over two pounds, something to hold on to for balance, a mat and a Pilates ring or magic circle. My cat has currently claimed that, so I'm hoping she'll let me use it a little bit later on. If you don't have a ring, you can use some resistance loops or a resistance band and tie it into a loop. And for the section where we're going to squeeze in between the inner thighs, you might want to use something like a small Pilates ball or even a rolled up towel. We're going to get straight into it to heat up the entire body. And then we're going to do some more isolated, intense exercises to burn out each individual muscle group. Okay, you don't need your weights or any equipment to start off with but you do want your chair so that you can hold on to that for balance just in case. I want you to turn your feet out so your feet are turned out and your heels are together. Your tummy's in and your knees are nice and soft. We're going to plie and bring our arm overhead up and down. Now to start with, we're keeping everything really small and we're just gonna hit through those legs, up and down, up and down. Now I want to start coming up on the toes and down, up on the toes and down. So up and down, up and down. I'm really just using that arm to get the heart rate up a little bit because your arm is around 12 to 20% of your calorie burn, right? So you don't want to miss out on that extra. So you're coming all the way up on your toes. I want to heat up those feet because we will be on our toes for a lot of the workout. Four more, three more, two and one. Now we're going to step forward, step back, up and down. Step forward, step back, up and down. So you don't need to worry about the arm too much on that step forward, step back. Just keep it by your side, then back up and down. Step forward, step back, up and down. So you want to make sure your feet are still turned out as you're stepping forward. Up and down, one more like this, and then we're going to the other side. Simple stuff. Step forward, step back, up and down. Step forward, step back, up and down. You're keeping your knees soft the entire time, okay? That's very important. Up and down, and you're only turning out to your point of comfort. You don't want to over-rotate. You don't want anything to feel a little bit sticky in there. You want your joints to be nice and loose. Two more and up and down, and last one, up and down. Now, feet parallel, knees are soft, tummies are in. We're going to come up, we're gonna hinge forward, we're going to come back into place and down. So you're starting in the semi-squat, come up on your toes, hinge forward with a flat back, reaching forward, back and down. It's up, it's forward, it's back and down. So now I'm stretching the back of my legs, and I'm also still working my thighs, heating up through those quads, the front of your thighs, and down, all the way up to your highest tippy toe, okay? Your feet have muscles in them too. They will get used to this. You just need to keep going, and as long as you have something soft underneath your feet, it will actually help you to strengthen your ankles and your feet which carry you, carry you around every day. So you wanna make sure they're worked as well. Two more, down, up, forward, and down. Last time, up, forward, and down. Nice job. We're going to do some oblique work. So I want you to grab your light weights for that. You only need one. And we're going to start off with our feet really nice and wide in a wide plie. So you wanna have your tummy in, your shoulders down and back and slightly push your knees towards the back, slightly tuck your hips, okay? So what we're gonna do is have our chair handy in case you need it. We're going to go over and out, over and out. Then we're gonna step it in. We're going to come up, extend, in and down. So it's over and out over and out come in bring the knee up extend the leg in and back down over and out over and out up extend back in and down over reach 
Really making sure that here you're crunching as high as you can towards your elbow and you're just holding that elbow in place, okay, creating that isometric tension in your oblique. It's up, extend the leg and down. Come on, doesn't have to be perfect, you just want to feel it. Extend, so here, if you're not feeling that contraction, you need to bring that elbow closer to the knee, the knee closer to the elbow, and really lean into it, and just squeeze that side body. Over and out, it's in, extend, in and down. How about two more on this side? Over and out, it's in, extend, in and down. Last one like this over and out, in, extend, in and down. Now we're going to stay in this in extension, okay? So you wanna have the weight in the heel of this leg, lightly hold here, you're coming up, extend and in, extend and in. I want you to squeeze your waistline here, extend and in. So I want that elbow touching if you can. Your chest is upright. Extend and in. If this is too much for you, you can keep it lower. Or maybe just go like this. Okay, this is easier. Extend and in. Just a few more. Really burning out that side oblique. Make sure your tummy's in, your shoulders are down. Extend and in. Four. You need to contract here. Three. This side. Two. Last one. And everyone gets to do large range of motion but with a straight leg, down. So this is such a typical standing abs exercise and we love it because it works. So keep going, extend that leg, point the toe and make sure you're coming up as high as you can with the kneecap to the front of the room and you're bending the uppers to the lowers and the lowers to the uppers. Your entire upper body, not just that arm. Six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. We're doing that same series to the other side. So I'm going to come into that wide plie position. You want to make sure the weight is in the other hand now. And remember, tummies are in, knees are slightly towards the back, slightly tuck your hips, shoulders are down the back. You want to make sure you set this up perfectly because you want to get the most out of each exercise. So we're going to reach and extend, reach and extend. Then we're going to come into this leg here. Weight is in the heel. It's up, extend, in and down. Reach and out, reach and out. It's up, extend, in and down. So you want to make sure you're leaning directly to the side not to the front, okay? It's tempting to kind of go like this and reach, but that does not work this oblique area, okay? So reach to the side, as if you're trying to reach the side wall. And if ever I go too fast for you, slow it down. And remember, you need to challenge yourself, but you don't need to kill yourself. So if you need to drop a few reps, if you need to drop the weight, if you need to not go as low, okay, all of those modifications make it your workout. It's got to be challenging for you, but not to the point where there's dread factor and you never want to do it again. You will get results as long as you keep upping the intensity little by little. How about four more? Over, you really need to bend into it, extend in, and down, this is three, over. You will also get your heart rate up a little bit because we're keeping the pace pretty fast, okay? So you're lucky there, bonus calorie burn. This is the last set, over and out, in, extend, in and down. So now, sort yourself out so you're nice and balanced with your weight in the heel, a little bit of tension on here, no death grips. Your arm is going to come in. You're going to hold here in this contraction, okay? Extend and in. That's all you're doing. Now, if you contract your arm, really think about that. 
then you're also working your arm, not just your obliques. You're also getting a bit of leg there. Why not multitask? And remember, if this is just not happening for you, then just do some of these like this. Or maybe drop the weight. Or maybe just keep it a little bit lower. But the reason I'm up here is because this is where I feel the contraction in my waistline. Okay, that's what we're after. Just a few more. Six, five, four, come on. Three, two. Last one. Big reach over and straight leg, straight arm. Come on. You're bringing that leg up, kneecap to the front. Don't turn it up to the ceiling. And you're trying to keep the weight loaded in this leg and keeping your toe pointed, make it look pretty. Long, lean lines. Really bringing that arm past the leg in order to feel that crunch in the obliques, in the waistline, in that muffin top area that we all want to reduce, right? We don't want anything hanging over our pants and this exercise is going to help you get there. Six more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Nice job. We're going to start with some arms in a all fours position. So come into all fours and I want you just to have one weight underneath you. So you want to make sure that your arms and your legs are parted approximately at 90 degrees and they're about hip width apart. We're going to extend the back leg. You can either push your toe into the floor or if you want to, you can raise it up. We're going to bring our arm forward. We're going to row behind, keeping our arm close by our chest. Extend in and down. In, back, in and down. Okay, simple stuff. Now, what I want you to focus on here is pulling your belly button into your spine. Pushing out of the shoulder blades, no slouching. And making sure that back leg, the extended leg, the kneecap is down to the floor. You're making sure that it's up and you're squeezing your glute. You wanna make this into a glute workout as well. Isometrically holding that glute under tension. With this arm that's moving, you are squeezing the back of the top of the arm, the tricep. Okay, don't miss out. I know they're lightweights, but don't worry. We're gonna be doing a few reps here. Anytime you need to drop the leg, drop it. But if you can, keep it up the entire time. How about three more like this, and then we're changing the arms. Two more. Last one. Now we're going to go down, up, down, up, hold. Down, up, down, up, hold. Why not arm and leg? Down, up, down, up, hold. Down, up, down, up, hold and squeeze. If you need to drop the weight, drop it. But keep squeezing that arm. Down, up, hold. It doesn't have to go high. You can even be down here as long as you feel it. And if you can't do the opposite leg, then just go into all fours or put the foot down. A few more like this. Down, up, down, up, hold. Two more. Down, up, down, up, hold. Are you still square? Down, up, down, up, hold. Now hold that leg straight. We're just doing bend, press into the tricep, tiny. Bend, press, bend, press. If you need to drop the weight, bend, press, bend, press. You're still gonna feel it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Did you feel that? Rotate through the shoulders. We're just going to do a tiny little transition to get to the other side. Okay, we're going to stay on our knees. We're going to bring our hips forward. Keep your elbows in and your hands underneath your shoulders. Straight line. We're going to come forward with one hand, tricep, and just switch it. And we're doing it on our knees. And I know it's mean for that arm that we just worked, but don't worry. We're going to do the other side in a second. And so the other arm is going to even out and it's in. If you want to do it on your toes, go for it. But I'm telling you people, it's going to be fatigued at the end of the next set. So pace yourself. It's always good to pace yourself. Don't burn out at the beginning of the workout. 
forward and back. Make sure the elbow stays in by your rib cage as you go down, okay? Four more. Down and up. Three. Down and up. Two. Down and up. Last one. Down and up. Okay, guess what? Same thing, other side. If you want a heavier weight for the first exercise, because I realize it's a bit easier, just hold on to both, okay? So, same thing. We're setting up the all fours position. We're gonna extend the leg. We're gonna bring the hands slightly in front. Make sure you're square to the floor. Hands and feet are hip width apart. Hover that leg. Make sure you don't kick the wall like I did. And we're coming in, extend, in and down. In, extend, in and down. So you're pushing out of your shoulder blades, okay? It's very important not to slouch. Okay, just push out, keep your neck long. Once you see the exercise, look at the mat. Don't look at me and just extend that leg long. Remember, keep it high so you feel your glute engaging. Your arm is closed by your rib cage and you're really squeezing the top of the back of the arm as you get to that extension. Hold your tummy in. It will help you keep your balance. Squeeze, squeeze. A few more of these and then we're going to do straight arm ones. Up, extend, in and down. Up, extend, in and down. Really push into your flat palm on the other side. It will help you to not slouch. Three, back and in. Two, and one. Now we're going to keep our arms straight. Down, up, down, up, hold. Down, up, down, up, hold. Legs two maybe, down, up, hold. One, two, and hold. Down, up, down, up, hold and squeeze. Okay, that hold is not a rest. That hold is a squeeze the heck out of your arm and squeeze the heck out of your glute. And if you're down here, tiny ones, there is no shame in that. Okay, it burns nonetheless. Hold. And if you wanna drop your weight, just keep squeezing. Up, up and hold. Up, up and hold. Four more. Up, up and hold. Three, two. Come on, it's getting hard. Last one, if you need a break, Shake your arm out, come back in. We're doing extensions, extensions. Your leg is straight again, maybe an inch higher. Squeeze your glute, bend, press, bend, press. Keep your arm in. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ouch. So that was a big burn, right? Rotate through the shoulder. I'm not gonna be mean to you. I'm not gonna give you another set of push-ups but we are going to use the Pilates ring now. And I'm not sure if my cat will be very happy with that, but I'm gonna try. Can I take this baby? Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for looking after it. Now she's gonna be out of the shot because she's sulky. So we're coming back into that wide plie position. You wanna make sure that your heels are kind of close enough so you can come up on your toes at some stage, so test that but not so close that your knees are jutting out over your toes, okay? We're holding onto the ring. We're gonna do some more upper body with it. So we're going to keep our hands in the center in front of us and we're gonna squeeze in and in, in and in. And we're gonna pulse and pulse, just pulse and pulse. So form is so key when you're doing these inner thigh exercises. You need to think about tucking your hips slightly forward or pushing your pelvis slightly forward with your belly button in and then think about pushing your knees slightly back. So that will really activate your inner thighs. Squeeze in on that ring, you're changing the shape of that ring depending on how easy it is to squeeze your ring. Mine's super tough. It may become a really kind of oval shape or it may just look like this and squeeze in a little bit. But as long as you know that you're squeezing the heck out of that ring, right? Four and three and two and one. Now I want one toe up, I want your arms overhead, your elbows are out. We're gonna lean to the side, squeeze and up. 
lean to the side, squeeze and up. And we're still going into those legs. One side is up, squeeze and up. Obliques again, right? May as well. Total body, legs, arms, obliques. Now your arms are above your heart. You're squeezing and squeezing, your heart rate's gonna come up. So you've got a bit of a cardio factor there too. Remember to push your legs to the back. Four more, three, two, and one. Hold the ear, hold the squeeze back and back with the knee. Push your knee to the back, back and back. Hold the contraction in those arms. Come on, my heart rate is going up, up. I can feel it, back and back. Back and back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're just gonna switch it out. One toe up, the, so one heel up, the other heel up. Down and up, squeeze and squeeze. As you switch, squeeze and squeeze. Squeeze and squeeze. Come on. And if this is too much, if you're finding the balance is not there, then you can just lose the ring and maybe just hold on to the chair for this bit. But try and get the ring again for the next bit because we're gonna hold it still again in six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, heel is lifted. Make sure you're wide here. Tummies are in, shoulders are back. Back up to the top. Now, instead of pushing, I want you to pull. Okay, we're pulling. So pull and down, pull and down, pull and down, pull and down. All the way down, all the way down. Now lean into it as you pull. So as you pull, your bottom arm is kind of pulling more and going into that oblique crunch. Pull and pull. Both hands are providing resistance here. Are you still thinking about your knee going to the back? Are you still thinking about your high stiletto? Your toe is really nicely positioned there and your heel is as high as it possibly can. Back and back, come on. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it low, pull out, back with the knee. Back, back, so you're coming back and center. You're not going to the front. It's back and back, think emphasis back. Bend into it, my arms are burning. Back, 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 back. Both knees are gonna go back. Even if you're trying to just isolate, that's okay. Both of them are gonna to wanna to move. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna rotate and rotate, rotate and rotate. Rotate as if you're driving a car and this is the steering wheel. Rotate, rotate, come on. Make it fluid, burning at the waist, all the way across, four, three, two, one, hold the rotation this way. Okay, feel your waist here. We're going to come up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down for four. Rotate the other way, up, down, up, down. On this carpet, it's so hard to balance. For four, other way, up and down, up and down. Come on, squeeze your waist. Up and down, across, up and down, up and down. Up and down, last time to this side. Squeeze, up and down. Toes, get up high and up. Last time on this side. Four, three, it's okay if you wobble like me. Two, one, nice job. Okay, we're using our chair and we're using the ring. I want your ring around your ankles. Now you wanna position it in such a way that it's comfortable for you to lift this leg forward. Okay, so I've got these foam bits on there and I'm making sure the foam bit is against my shin. I'm gonna turn my leg out, so my knee's not directly to the front, it's slightly out. I'm gonna sink into the heel of this back leg and I'm just gonna extend my leg. Now, this leg is not gonna go very far because that ring is gonna prevent it but we're gonna push into that ring. I'm gonna flex my foot here, simply because it gives me more range of motion. I'm gonna start with my foot or my ankle pressed against it. So you feel tension here. Down and up from there. Down and up. Down and up. It's tiny. I'm tapping my heel and lifting to that same spot. 
down and up. Tummies are in, down and up. This leg is a bend in it, down and up. Squeeze. This is all for the quads, front of the thighs, down and up. It is tough. It's so much tougher than if you use a loop because there's not much give in the ring. Four more, three more, two, one. Now bend, extend, bend, extend. Bend, extend, bend, extend. Tiny bend, big extend. Think about the back of that leg straight as a stick as you extend, bend, extend. You are high enough to push and push. When you bend, you already have tension. When you extend, you're pushing all the harder into that ring. Four, three, two, one. Now I want you to turn your leg to 45 degrees. Point your toe if you can. Maybe bring this up slightly higher now. Point your toe. I know it's not gonna go far. Up and up, push into the ring, straight leg. Up and up. So you're using your inner thigh now. You're pointing your toe. I'm not gonna lie, my point is pretty pathetic. It's kind of like a semi-point, but it's not a flex. That's all I mean. So it can be kind of neutral as long as you're not flexing. Up and up, up and up. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna turn back to the front. Okay, this is the last little bit on this side. Back to the front. Flex again if you like. We're gonna come out. We're gonna come front. Push to the side, push to the front. Side, front. Side, front. Now your supporting leg is feeling this too, I know. That's okay. More bang for buck. Extra bonus burn. Four, front, three, front, two, and last one. I'm gonna let you get some life back in those legs. Rotate, 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 rotate. Rotate out and tap, in and tap. Out and tap and in and tap. Come on, that's all we're doing. Six, five, four, three, two, Last one. Other side, same thing. So, your supporting leg is already burning, so I'm sorry, but it's gonna feel it even quicker than the other side. Turn out your foot, flex this foot, make sure it's in a comfortable position, put your weight in the heel, and make sure your tummies are in and your shoulders are down and back. You should be able to wiggle your toes here. We're gonna push into it and come down. So push as hard as you can into that ring and then just lightly tap your heel to the ground, up and down. Ideally, you want to maintain some sort of contraction even on the down. So I suggest that you squeeze this quad and really feel that even on the down, up and down, up and down. You're gonna squeeze as hard as the results you're after, okay? If you're just kind of going through the motions, then you're not gonna get those results. But if you really wanna have long lean legs and build some definition in your muscles, then you are gonna push as hard as you can against this ring. Four more like this. And three. And two. Last one. Now hold that tension. Bend, extend, bend, extend. So it's a tiny bend, a big extend. Think about the back of your leg, there's a stick behind that and you're extending so that you have no space between the back of your leg and that stick. Come on, breathe through it. I know it's tough, it's burning, burning. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now turn your foot out. You might want to bring it up slightly higher again and point the toe or keep it neutral. So you're trying to get your inner thigh forward and then you're doing the same thing. Up and tap, up and tap. So this time, just changing that angle should activate your inner thigh. Are you feeling that? Up and tap, up and tap. I am feeling that. Squeeze, squeeze, up. <sighs> Always breathe out on the hardest part. So as I'm pushing, I'm breathing out. Remember your form, don't slouch, tummies are in. Six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Now we're going to go to the side and to the front. So side and front, side and front. Push to the side, push to the front. If you need to adjust your ring, adjust your ring. Mine just decided to fall down. Side and front. Push side, push front. Push side, push front. It's tiny. I know it's not a big move, but you can feel this. If you're doing what I'm doing, you can feel it, especially here. Are you feeling it there as well? Four, and front. Three, and front. Two, and last one. Drop the ring. We're not done with it though. And we're just gonna do those arcs to this out, arcs to the in. Out and in. Soft in this knee. We're just kind of swinging it, trying to get that lactic acid out of your quad, out and in, out and in. But you will be getting a bit of hip flexor work here. So it's not like a free ride. It's definitely work. Four more, three, two, and last one. Nice job. You don't need your chair, but we're going to still use that ring and we're gonna do some abs. Don't think it's gonna be easy, because it won't be. Now, I want you to put your ring back around your ankles with the padding just on the outside. We're going to lie down and bring our legs <laughs> in the air. You can lie all the way down and press into your hands to help you. We're going to start with, very simple, in and out, down and up. In and out, down and up. If you want to engage, the upper abs, why not put your fingertips behind your ears, don't pull on your neck, and just keep your shoulder blades up off the mat. So, using the ring means I am pushing out on that ring the entire time. I'm activating those outer thighs. Don't just let it hang there, you need to push in and out, down and up. Four more, down and up, three more, down and up, two, down and up, last one, down and up. Now I'm gonna bend my legs, push out on the ring, and I'm going to twist my feet to the front and to the back. To the front, to the back. Twist and twist. I'm doing a reverse curl by pushing my hips up using my lower abs, okay? So you need to make sure you are pushing from your lower abs. There is no gap between your back and the mat. Four more, and three, and two, and last one. Nice job. Now I'm moving my ring above my knees and I'm pressing out on that. I'm gonna angle both my legs to the front and I'm going to try and angle them so I can feel my obliques here. Put both your hands down, and from here, we're going to go down and up, down and up. Now I'm gonna build a little combination, down and up, top leg, down and up. Bottom leg bend, straight, top leg bend, straight. I want you to push out on your loop like never before on your ring. Down and straight. And if this is just not working for you, then keep your legs bent and do the same thing. Just keep going down and up with bent legs. This is quite advanced. It's like a windshield wiper, but with the added element of that Pilates ring, you feel the burn even more, right? Let's do a few more sets. Down and up, and you're just keeping that angle. Down and up. Three, and two, and last one. Guess what? We're doing it to the other side. So you're angling your feet, okay? Your tummies are in, you're down. Start with just a few of these so you can see how low you need to go. Everyone's different. If you can't go very low, you might be all the way up here, or you might have your legs bent and be doing this. That's okay. Down and up, down and up. I'm trying to keep my hips up, but I'm allowing a little bit of space there. Back leg down, both. Front leg down, both. Push into the loop 
or into the ring every time, especially when you bend. It's almost like you're going the opposite direction. You're pushing down here with the back leg, then you're pushing up with the front leg. Okay, it's a little bit of work for your brain, but believe me, it does work for your body too. And up, front, and up, back, and up. Hold your belly button into your spine, it will help you, I promise. Down, and up, back, and up. Okay, two more. Down, and up, and last one, and up. Come back into the centre. We're going to remove that ring and we're going to put it in between our inner thighs because inner thighs and abs go together like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches or like cats and mice, whatever you want to call it. Now, you want to have tension on your ring already from the get-go. I've got my heels together, pressing in against my heels and I'm pressing in against this. You're starting with your hands underneath your knees. You're going to breathe in through the nose, breathe out and C-curve. So your chest is up and you're C-curving, so your belly button is pushed in, rounding your back. From here, we're gonna squeeze and tuck, squeeze and tuck. So I'm squeezing in on the ring and I'm tucking my ribs and my hips together. Squeeze and tuck. Squeeze and tuck. So you can hold on here, or if you want to advance it a little bit, why not let go? Squeeze and tuck, squeeze and tuck. And if you want to, come back further, because the further you go back, the harder this is going to be. Squeeze and tuck, squeeze and tuck. Six more, five more, press against your heels, four more, three more, two, and one. Now, I want you to sit up again. Make sure it's comfortable. Your arms are gonna stay overhead. You're gonna point your toes, squeeze in. We're gonna come up and we're going to come down. We're going to come up and down. Very simple, up and down. Up squeeze, down squeeze. Up squeeze, down squeeze. Hold your belly button in, down squeeze. Up and squeeze. Squeeze and squeeze. Four more, then we're extending the legs and we're putting our arms down. Two, last one, extend your legs, adjust this if you need to, arms are back, squeeze and squeeze, squeeze and squeeze. This is so hard with this ring. This ring is torture. It is so tough to squeeze. Squeeze and squeeze, squeeze and squeeze. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. Okay, bring both your knees to the side and come onto your back holding your ring. Bring the ring above. You wanna push in, push in to start with. We're going to bring our leg up, squeeze on the ring and bring our ring past our thigh. It's down and it's up. It's down and it's up. So you're pushing your leg up and your arms are going straight, but your legs are angled, okay? Up and down, up and down. If you're not contracting on that Pilates ring, you're missing out on some major arm work. Four, three, two, one, hold it up, out and in, out and in. Tap your knee to your elbow, hold it up, contract your arms, out and in, out and in. Come on, for the obliques, for the chest, out and in, out and in. Four more, three more, you can do it. Two more, last one, extend the leg, little pulses, tap, tap to the thigh. Your leg is 45 degrees. Just a few, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Other side and we're done. Okay, so this is to be your best set. Come into that position where your hips are stacked, your knees are together. Then you're going to bring your shoulder blades down, both of them down, 
If that means that you need to extend your legs more or even have them slightly off the ground, that's okay. I just want your shoulder blades down. Push in on the ring, arms are overhead. We're going to bring the leg up and the arms towards that thigh. We're gonna blow out as we bring that up. Up and up. Squeeze on the ring. This is for the chest, okay? This is for that armpit fat. We're squeezing in, contracting our entire upper body. Squeeze. Blowing out on the up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Stay up, contract in and tap, so out and tap. Leg is at 45, keep the kneecap to the front of the room, out and tap. If this is too hard, you can come down and, and tap as you come up, okay? That's your option, otherwise contract and hold. For eight, seven, six, five, come on, four, three, two, Last one, I'm going to give you a tiny break because we're starting to fatigue. Then we're going to extend that leg, keep it out, and we're just going to tap and tap, tap and tap. This is all we're doing and we're done. Push in on the ring, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, done. You can drop the ring. Oh, we're going to stretch it out while we're down here. Arms are overhead. Deep breath in, then just bring this leg up and grab onto the back, point and flex. So all the times that we went up on our toes, we did a lot of calf work. So you really wanna make sure that you give that a nice stretch as well. Point and flex, good job. Then we did a lot of glute work, so give yourself a figure four stretch by putting your foot against the other knee and just pulling that in. Oh, that feels so good, especially when it was the supporting leg. You felt this area here so much, and this stretch gets right in there. Ah, oh, deep breaths. And we're just gonna switch that up, so other leg in, you can either keep that straight or bend it, doesn't matter. Point and flex, up and down. You don't need to be really low here as long as you feel that stretch all the way down the back of your leg, all the way into the calves when you're flexing your foot. You should feel it all the way up here. Now cross it over and bring it in. And again here, you may feel it just being down here and that's totally fine. Or you may not feel this enough. You might wanna bring it right in and you might wanna push against this knee, opening that up even more. and then just hands behind your knees and we're just gonna rock ourselves up. And we're gonna do some inner thigh stretching because all those plies definitely got the inner thigh. So you wanna try and push your thighs open and you're gonna feel this as a nice hip stretch as well. And then open that out even more. And we're just gonna slightly lean forward Point your toes, make sure your legs are really anchored here and slightly lean forward. Feeling those inner thighs stretching and a little bit more hamstring. And we did a lot of side body work, so just lean over to the side and reach far. Ah, oh, that feels so good. Sometimes just holding stretches you can feel that as the seconds pass, as you deepen your breath, you can feel it getting more and more supple there. Other side, reaching long. And then just a quad stretch because we did a lot of work with the quads, especially that ring work, which really burned. I hope you felt that burn. Even with a resistance loop around the ankles, that works just as well, but not quite as much of a burn as a ring. 
and then just switch that up. Heel towards the glutes, push your hip to the front to increase that stretch. Then just sit in a cross-legged position and I want you to, if you can, intertwine your arms so that you've got your elbows together and you can really push against each other and you'll feel the stretch, the arm that's on top on that shoulder. You'll really feel that. If you can't do this stretch, then just go like this. It's very similar. And then you want to put the other arm on top. Okay, keep it down, your shoulders are down and you're pressing against each other. And because we work quite a bit of tricep, just reach down your back and push that elbow down and then lean into it. And then we're just going to switch that out, reaching down your back, leaning the other way. And for the chest, just bring your hands together at the back and push forward. And if you can't clasp your hands, just put them on the ground and push your chest forward. That's the same sort of stretch. And then interlace in front and push your spine to the back. One more time to the top, side to side. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for Quiet Quarantine Bar. I hope you felt that burn and I'll see you at the next workout.